Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the free Unity assets for April, May 2022. And this month features over 63 different assets of visual effects, characters, utilities, and so, so much more. And I will show you some of the best things that I found with all the links that I'll put in the description. Be sure to come and check out my Patreon to support the channel and get access to over 144 other awesome assets that you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the description for all the savings across the Unity store and on the Humble Bundle deals with a new sound and music effects bundle. And the first one is the Poly Light Survival Collection and this is a massive selection of props, weapons and utilities in a low poly, polygon-esque style for a survival game which includes 69 different variations for tents, backpacks, tools, weapons and so much more. The next one is the global roads and traffic light and this is an infrastructure for creating roads, walkways and meshes using open street map data which can simulate traffic, pedestrians, bridges, tunnels, traffic lights and all the things that are included in this package. Next we have the 2D character asset. The 2D character has 11 different animations for specific 2D platformers and the UI pack has six different small buttons, large buttons, vertical buttons, height, hearts, and other orbs for menus, UIs, and more. And next we've got the fire ice projectile explosion, which is visual effects with a test scene for fire ice explosions and projectile style effects. Well, next we have the hit impact effects free with four different hit effects, one guard, five different prefabs with 11 assorted textures for RPG fighting and more. And speaking of 2D and visual effects, I've got two great tutorials for you to check out, which is the Unity 2D Master Game Development with Unity and C Sharp, and the 3D visual effects for games, which are both featured on an online platform called Wingfox, which allows you to search for any number of tutorials, whether at surrounding games, creations, but specifically the 2D master game development will take you through the entirety of programming and building up your own knowledge to create your own specific 2D games with input systems, character controllers, and all the things you need to know to get started. And you can check them out and I'll put all the links down in the description. The next one is the colored hierarchy headers. Uh, this allows you to add headers and dividers with a simple way to add it so then you can actually split things up in your hierarchy for between whether you want environments or levels or things like that so you can actually get a really big justification on what is actually needed to be split up. Next one is the circle generator and I think this is a really useful tool and this allows you to create simple flexible 2D circles in Unity and it's free and open source and it allows you to create whether it's a thin, thick, or other modifications between the angle, the radius, how many polygons it would have. The next one is the quick scene launcher and this allows you to save time when you've got multiple scenes in multiple folders in your project and it just has a nice little custom editor which shows all your scenes there so you can quickly flick to those if they're in another window to be able to move the scenes to where you want. The next one is the skeleton animations free collection of 3D humanoid style animations for 3D humanoid characters with an idle walk, attack, damage, and death. The next one is the Super Scroll Rect, and this is a high performance recyclable scroll rect, which allows you to do horizontal vertical grid views, infinite items, you can instantiate visible items for high performance, and recycle items and places because this can save you a lot. The next one is the SF Inventory, and it's a simple modular inventory for your game or your project with a simple UI with a modular based system where you can stack items, divide them into other specific slots in the system. The next one is Proto Tiles and it's an easy way to prototype a map with tiles for a turn based style game with a single editor window with A star pathfinding included to be able to create this style. The next one is debuggable and this allows you to create some debug logs with warning errors and just logs and you can change the color between on what they will appear in the actual inspector themselves. Next one is stamp it which is a collection of examples which consists of high quality textures in 4 cray resolutions and these height maps can be used in Unity's terrain and lots of different of the popular terrain editors that are on Unity to create loads of bunch of high detail quality environments. 
And the last one is Nebula Skyboxes, which is four skyboxes at 8K resolution with cube map textures with 2K per face, compatible with the built-in URP and HDRP in the EXR format, which is specific to panoramic or 360 style skyboxes. So be sure to check out all these amazing assets for this month. I'll leave all the links down in the description for you to check them out and you can let me know what you think. So do come and support me on Patreon and also get access to another 144 scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and massive discounts on my website for all those great assets. Big thanks to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Tan Yanlin, David76, Sami Romani, Jean Pommier, Nyguyen, Matt Cindy Dinos, and Zach, and everybody who comes to watch the video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.